What up, what up, what up? Welcome to another Meta 13 Online ranked match. And today we are using the Green Bay Packers going up against the 49ers. But first and foremost, let me give a huge thank you and shout out to Peter Games Time. Um, his link is in the description and notation also above on the computer screen. Go ahead and click that. Do me a favor and go ahead and subscribe to him. He's getting a PVR soon. I know he doesn't have... Uh, too many videos and things like that, but he will be on his grind soon. He did me a huge favor and uh, gave me a background and avatar for my second channel, which is also in the description if you guys want to check that out. And uh, he did me a huge favor. He just went ahead and uh, just did it for me. And um, I really appreciated it and asked him if he wanted it. He's like, you know, don't worry about it. It was like, you know what, definitely shout you. Hopefully, you know, you guys can have my back and look out for him. Most of the time when I uh, suggest you guys subscribe to somebody, you guys always show love. And uh, know that whenever I uh, shout somebody out, you guys know that I'm not going to bring it to somebody boring or somebody you guys wouldn't like. So uh, if you guys have time, you know, please check the description. Also check the annotation above. Check him out. Check out his channel. And uh, again, my second channel, he did the background and he did the avatar, uh, which I'm very grateful for. So thank you a lot. So again, check him out and uh, let's get into the gameplay. We got the Packers going up against the 49ers. Um, definitely not too... Uh, I don't know what I was... Okay, let me try to reword what I was, was going to say. I really don't like going up against the 49ers, right? Uh, they're by far the most heavily chosen team online. There's just not too many teams that match up with them evenly. Well, there's no team that match up with them evenly over, overall. No matter what team you get, the biggest factor that the Niners have over everybody is that they cause fumbles. That's it, right? That's the only factor that they, that they really have. They're not the best coverage team. They're not the fastest team. But they by far cause more fumbles than any other team that you can pick in this game and that is why they are so heavily favored over everybody they get these big hits all the time and there's no other team in the game that re that really creates as many turnovers as they do just from their big hits but um the packers i definitely like as one of the few teams that i think gives me a good chance at beating the 49ers you know the packers have a star-studded offense their defense is really good too and uh, it also helps that they have a running back that doesn't make me want to run the ball in Benson. He's a very slow. I mean, he, he's meant for a, 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 a through-the-gap type runner, right? He's not an east and west kind of guy. He's more of a north and south kind of guy. And right there, we get a huge gain with Jordy Nelson. We end up scoring another touchdown with Nelson, and we end up going 14-0. to zero. Uh, Whenever I get a team, let's say if I go with the Vikings or Jaguars or Ravens, a team with a great running back where I want to run the ball, um, that's when the 49ers power really come into effect because they're, uh, they hit very hard and I just hate that. But, uh, with Benson, I really don't got to worry about that too much because I don't see myself running too much, you know, with so much powerful weapons on offense that the Packers have, I really see me slinging the ball a ton, uh, right here. We got a really good opportunity to stop him again and go up 21, but he hits me with the comeback route, which seems to be one of his go-to plays, just a quick little comeback route. Right there, I tried to go for the kill shot, and my mistake, that caused me, uh, that costed me about 40 some odd yards. Should have just went for the regular tackle instead. Try to go for the big hit, and as you guys know, whenever you try to go for a big hit on a designed quarterback run, you really don't get uh, fumbles too much, so I should have just went for the regular tackle, but he ends up scoring the touchdown, and now it's 14 to 7. He does get ball at halftime, so we what we want to do here is be able to give him as little uh, time as possible to go ahead and score because there's no point in scoring and then he gets the ball scores gets the ball at halftime scores again then it's a tie game right here we get very lucky he ends up dropping interception so uh, definitely got to be thankful for that uh, wheel route right there in uh, inside precision pass and uh, if you guys go up against top top competition you guys know what people mainly run all the time is wheels and fades, wheels and fades, wheels and fades. That has never been a big part of my offense, even though, uh, like, that's all I really face now. Whenever you pass level 8, 9, you go up against these guys, usually a wheel with a fade, wheel, fade, wheel, fade. Those things are very difficult to stop because the precision passion this year, passing this year, so overpowered. But my offense always consisted of just regular drags post and screens uh you're not gonna see me doing two screen too many screens here with the packers um as you guys know i love the screen game I, I love the short game and being able to get my running back in open spaces but they really don't have too much speed and with not having the the speed i really desire and the fact that the 49ers hit really hard uh is gonna 
uh, have me tend to shy away from my screen game, which I really like to go to a lot. Right here, big run, but this is the power I'm talking about. Look, just a regular run right there, going out of bounds, and I get big hit, and he fumbles. And uh, Benson really isn't known that much for fumbling. Again, he's a big, powerful back. Uh, you're not really going to get too many big, long gains out of him, but, you know, he's a bruising back who should be able to get you you know, good short yardage consistently and able to fall forward. But the Niners hit very hard, as you saw. Willis just chased them down, caught the angle on them, and just nailed them. And he fumbled. And that's why the 49ers are the best team in the game. Right there. Don't test the user. He is so disrespectful. Somebody please give this young gentleman a link to my channel and let him know. Do not throw the ball my way. The results are going to end up something like that. So now we have an opportunity. Oh, and we hit him with the skinny. I said we hit him with the skinny. We have an opportunity to go up 28-7. to 7. That's exactly what happens on a quick post to Cobb. And we don't give him too much time to uh, be able to counter that touchdown. Even though he does get a really big, like, Hail Mary type play. Gets himself in field goal range. But he does end up missing the field goal. So we go into halftime up 28-7. to And we're feeling really confident. He does get ball back. So uh, a stop and a score. And I feel like this game is absolutely over at that point. And again, this is one of the few. Look at this play right here. We got many people there. But he just comes up with a grab. Uh, we have... Again, there's not too many teams that match up with the 49ers that I can pick and, co and feel confident that, you know, I can move up and down the field on them. Uh, the team is just so oh, stagnant. I mean, the few times I've played with the Niners, I've probably played with them less than 12 times this year on, you know, the three accounts that I have. Uh, the few times I've played with them, uh, they they do so much for you. You know, they're not, a, they're not the best coverage team in the game, but their pass rush allows you to... Uh, have good coverage because the quarterback has to pretty much get rid of the ball quickly. You know, when you talk about uh, Alden and Justin Smith, both, you know, block sheds like 90 above, you know, and then you got McDonald, and then you got, uh, uh, look at that interception right there. No, Zippy, Zippies. That right there is a rare animation that you really get. That's probably like the third or fourth time this entire year where I've got a sideline interception. And look at Benson rumbling, bumbling, stumbling down there for a huge game. Definitely the longest game I've ever had with Benson. And uh, he does get chased down from behind, but definitely a huge run for him. Um, as I was, I, I forgot what I was saying, but uh, right now we're in a position to go up 35 to 7. Uh, we try to go to the fade, but we don't get it. We get hit as we throw, so we try it again. This time we try it on the left side. We go to Jordy Nelson. He ends up coming through with the catch, and now we are up 35 to 7, and we definitely feel like game is over, you know, at this point. Uh, really quickly, I want to ask you guys if you guys would prefer, because I'm going to get back in the swing of things of getting uh, two videos a day. Uh, would you guys prefer. Uh, like one full game and one edited game a day because that would make things easier on me and uh, I'm as surprised as I am a lot of you guys really like the full games which I'm surprised because they tend like an edited game I can edit this game down which probably was about 35 40 minutes worth of gameplay edited down to about 10 minutes and uh, I figured a lot of people preferred that because not everybody has the time to watch a 45 minute video but a lot of you guys say that you guys really enjoy it you guys really like to just watch um you know the basically me go through the entire games and my decisions and things like that and also some of you guys say you know even though it's a long video you guys watch it in three sessions you guys watch 10 minutes come back watch 15 minutes come back and finish it off with, with the last 15 minutes throughout the day so um again i'm gonna get back in the swing of things of two videos a day right there we get a big 13 uh point victory so that lets you know that he was easily you know two levels above me or something like that so definitely uh pulled a, a big victory Played dominant offensively, had a very good defensive game, and the Packers came through and we had a dominant game. So let me know if you guys would like that. I'll probably do the full game at 5 p.m. and then the edited game at 9. Uh, that way you guys have time because I know a lot of my subscribers are young. And if I do a full game at 9, you're probably not going to have enough time to watch the entire thing. And uh, again, the full games are t generally going to be a half hour to an hour long. So if you guys like that, uh, let me know. If not, then we'll go to the two edited games. But one full game will make it easier for me. And you guys really seem to enjoy it. So uh, just let me know if you guys would prefer that. Um, so again, we're getting back into the swing of things to uh, videos a day. 
uh, back on our Madden grind. Going to be playing a lot of Madden soon. Only on the PlayStation 3 because my Xbox copy broke. But, um, again, hope you guys enjoyed the content, man. I really look forward to uh, seeing you guys' thoughts and opinions on uh, if you guys would like a full game every day. Uh, it's your boy GS. I'm signing out. Peace.